We're trained to jump in the water at the first sign of danger, but let me tell you, it's not like what you see on TV. Death can come at any time. It was the first lightning storm of the season, so we all jumped on our jet skis and went out to the middle of the ocean to celebrate. My lifeguard pals, Bondo and Small Reggie, they wore these sweaters that were like so thick and looked so cool. But man, do those take on a lot of water very quickly. They drove their aqua choppers right at each other at full speed because we dared them to. They sank right to the ocean floor immediately. Of course, we gave them a proper lifeguard funeral. We did backflips off the waves and one-handed barrel rolls in the tube, but I can't help but feel like we could have done a little more. Bondo washed up a month later. He was totally fine. He just couldn't speak anymore. And Small Reggie, no idea where Small Reggie is. I think he's probably still down there, you know, riding his undersea motorcycle, talking to crabs. Either that or he's dead. The most dangerous thing in the ocean isn't a shark or even the riptides. It's Jeff. He'll tell you he's a mermaid, but if you look closely, he doesn't have a tail at all. It's just a pair of turquoise billabong board shorts. He comes out of the water two or three times a day and tries to run a Bitcoin scam on any sunbather who accidentally makes eye contact with him. Jeff told me it was too late to make any real money off of Bitcoin, and so I invested over $30,000 into something called Jeffcoin. He then told me that if I disclosed our business arrangement with anyone else, he would hit me with his car. Fair is fair. Jeff is a very handsome man who lives in the ocean and perpetrates white collar crime. I was working the opening shift and this kid shows up and says, I'm gonna drink the ocean. And I'm like, yeah, good luck. If I couldn't do it, no one can. But before I can say a word, she starts to cram fistfuls of sand into her mouth. She's just gulping down fistfuls of beach dust as fast as she can, too fast to even taste it. And I'm like, hey, what about the ocean? And she just stared blankly at the ocean and said, wait, do you mean wet world? and went back to eating sand. She got full after about an hour. I gave her some plain toast and flat ginger ale to help with her upset tummy. But I still think about that kid every time I see the giant hole she ate out of the beach. People often fall into it and hurt themselves. Remember that episode of Friends when Monica got stung by a jellyfish and Chandler had to pee on it? It's the whole reason I became a lifeguard. Every morning before my shift, I would slam three Mountain Dews and come in early with a sledgehammer and destroy the public toilets. But as the years went on and the smashed porcelain stacked up, it became increasingly clear that there were no jellyfish stings for me to deal with. My manager said it was because I worked at a public pool. So I quit my job and I became a beach lifeguard. There still hasn't been a jellyfish sting, but there was one time I peed on a shark bite. The EMT said I was doing more harm than good. I'll never understand the mysteries of the sea.